In this example, we'll use the TVM solver with a savings annuity. Question reads, if you deposit $250 each month into an IRA, earning 7% interest, how much will you have in the account after 35 years using the TVM solver? So let's move to the calculator and open the TVM solver. So remember to open the TVM solver, use the apps button, and then hit enter twice since it's the first option both times. Now for a savings annuity, what we're looking for in this case is the future value and we know the payment amount. So with a compound interest problem, we have a comparison between the present value and the future value where we know one and want to find the other. With an annuity question, we have a payment amount and then we wanna know, in this case, a future value. Or we could be given the future value and try to find the payment. There are all sorts of options here. But in our example, we know the payment amount. So let's go through and fill out the things that we know. The first value, of course, is N, and this stands for the total number of compounding periods. So this is a monthly payment, and we're gonna assume that the frequency of the payment is the same as the compounding. So if it's a monthly payment, we assume that it compounds monthly as well. It keeps things relatively simple. So this is a monthly payment for 35 years. So we need 12 times 35, Again, we can just type that in and let the calculator figure it out for us. The interest rate in this example was 7%. So we'll just type in seven. Again, remember in this case, we type in the whole percentage, not the decimal version of it. PV will leave as zero. It's important that if there's a value we're not using, we need to leave it as zero, otherwise it gets confused. Uh, so we'll leave that as zero because that's not part of our problem. What we're comparing is the payment and the future value. We know the payment is $250 each month. Now I could type in 250, but I'm actually gonna type in negative 250. Again, the TVM solver assumes that a negative payment is one that's going out from you. A positive one is one that comes into you. So we're putting in, we're depositing, or spending $250. So in this case, the future value will be positive. It doesn't much matter if you mix up the negatives and positives because the the value is what we're really interested in. But just for consistency, I'll use negative 250 here. The future value we're gonna solve for, but first I need to fill in these values for PY and CY, which is the number of payments and compounding periods per year. So I'll type in 12, and it'll automatically fill that in for the compounding periods as well. Again, it assumes that the frequency of the payment is the same as the compounding. So now I'm ready to solve for the future value. Again, that's the green text option on the enter key. So I need to hit alpha to select the green options and then the enter key to solve. And that works out to just over $450,000 over a period of 35 years. And here I rounded that to the nearest dollar, just over $450,000. If you save $250 each month, earning 7% interest for 35 years.